peeps. I don't know if this looks really cool or really lame, but I just was fiddling around with a scarf and I thought, you know what, I'm going to channel my inner 2013 Harry Styles, because why not? Today I'm going to be talking to you about ways to be more green, and by that I mean just little things you can incorporate into your day-to-day -day life that lessen the impact on the environment. I would like to make a disclaimer that I am by no means preaching, I am by no means perfect at all, but recently I've definitely been trying to be less wasteful. I feel like everybody's on a journey, everybody's learning, and I just thought I'd share some ways that I have been enjoying switching things out and becoming more of a green citizen. So let's get started. The first one I have mentioned before is carrying a flask and this is the flask that I use. It served me really well. It's actually from Starbucks but I'm sure there are more sort of, as I've said before, there's probably better better companies to purchase your flasks from. But this one has served me really well. Sometimes you go for like a cheap flask and it, it's it's affordable but it doesn't last very long or it doesn't keep the liquid hot so sometimes it's you get what you pay for sometimes not all the time but anyway i've been using this flask and i carry this around with me obviously i use it to take tea and coffee to lectures and things like that i also carry it around i wash it out in the toilet once it's empty at not in the toilet like in in the bathroom in the sink <laughs> and then I can carry it around and say I do go to a cafe or I do go somewhere where they're, they're using paper cups or something I'll just say please please can you make it in this please can I have it in this sometimes they might even give you a discount like at Starbucks I think I don't know what it is 20p or something but I try not to buy drinks out because obviously it can be quite expensive like three pound for a coffee is it's a lot of money it's quite expensive so I try not to but it's always nice to you know it saves you money it saves a paper cup from being used and it's always handy to have so I've been carrying a flask and I think like making the switch to carrying a flask with you is, is a really really good investment for both you and the planet. And then the other thing kind of hand in hand with that is a water bottle. This is the one that I use, I also have another one which I take to the gym but I just use those two and this is the Swell water bottle and I've talked about this before. Swell are a really nice company in terms of corporate social responsibility. Um, I think they Oh, I can't remember exactly, but something to do with... I should really know this, shouldn't I, before, before I go bragging about how great they are. Something about bringing water to places that they don't always have access to clean water. Uh, I just know that I've heard really good things about them and their flasks as well. So this one here is, I think it's the, sh the shade Opal. They do loads of really, really funky different shades. So like, they do like a wooden looking one. They do plain. I think they do sparkly. Maybe, maybe they do matte as well. They've got loads and loads of different colours and styles. And I think they started selling these in England now. Like I had to order this online. But I think they sell them in Urban Outfitters and some other places as well. So they're easy to access. Obviously you don't need to get this, this one in particular. I like this one because it keeps whatever I've got in it really cold or really hot. It's like a flask basically and it's not too heavy for a flask. Um, my only gripe with it is that this is 750 millilitres which I think is a little bit too little for me. I would rather have it like a, a litre bottle because I think that's that's enough to carry around but then at the same time a litre is quite a lot to be carrying around with you. Um, but I think just making the switch to having a water bottle that isn't plastic water bottles um, and by plastic, I mean you could buy a reusable plastic water bottle, I'd recommend getting one that's BPA free. But I mean like the disposable, you know, wa bottled water. Um, instead of buying those when you're out, again it saves you money and also it's, uh, it's such a waste. Like, I remember watching this video of just the massive con that is bottled water. Like think about all the waste from all the bottles of water. And obviously I understand some people don't like the taste of tap water but I mean... I don't mind it and I, I think making the switch is a really good thing to do so yeah that's why I'm recommending it. Shampoo I have not exclusively because obviously I do test things out that are cruelty free and vegan but my main shampoo is one that doesn't have a package. This is the Lush Solid Shampoo. I've got another one of these in the other room. This one I think is called Mon uh, Montabano? Montabano and these are so nice so you buy the actual, let me take it out, hang on a second, come on. Don't show me up in front of my peers. Get out of your... So they're sold as like a solid bar like this and then you can buy this little tin, it's £2.50. You can use it again and again, use it to transport it and it lathers up so well. So it's like a bar of soap but you use it in your hair. And I was kind of thinking like, I was, I was doubtful. I'm not going to lie, I was doubtful. But it works really, really well as a shampoo. This one smells amazing. It smells really, really zesty, really fresh, like sweet lemon and I just think it works just as well as a shampoo and I never really thought about how much waste comes from like bottled shampoo um, whereas this is, is a really good way to cut down on waste 
and it works really well so it's a really easy switch to make and they last really like a, a long time they last just as long as like a bar of soap does you know how often do you go through bars of soap not very often for me anyway so yeah that's a really cool one to make the switch and I've really been enjoying using solid shampoos. Another switch I made recently is from cotton pads to reusable cotton pads and these are from Depop. They're by a brand called Handmade Heaven and you've got flannel on one side and toweling on the other. Basically what you do with these is you use them in place of cotton pads. Really really straightforward. Say you use a micellar water, you can use these with micellar water. Say you use a cleansing oil, you can use these to wipe off cleansing oil. They're really really soft on the cotton side and they're like, like a soft flannel on the other side. So you can find different variations with these but once you've used them, you can put them, pop them in with the washing, wash them, reuse them again. And these say wash at 40 degrees. Oh, I understand. Oh, she, oh I get it. I get it, I get it. She done, <laughs> she done done the, no, she did the, um, she obviously uses a standard template for packaging and then she just colours in the ones that are relevant to it. So these are organic, unbleached, cotton, flannel and toweling. That makes more sense. But actually you don't even need to wait for your washing, you can just wash them by hand, that's what I've been doing. I mean you get a bit of discoloration if you don't put them in the washing machine um, from where the makeup sinks into them. But it smells fine and you can always do like sort of one day you can just wash them by hand, the next day you can put them in the washing, you know. And these will last for ages and ages and you can get them from loads of different places and I just again it's a really really easy switch to make and very worthwhile as well another handy tip is to carry a little kit with you so as i say obviously i carry my flask and my water bottle not always my flask but always my water bottle with me wherever i go i also carry this little packet this is from boots i don't necessarily recommend this bag but like any makeup bag you've got floating around or maybe try and find like an organic cotton makeup bag that would be a good purchase to make. I just had this one so I carry this around with me and inside it I carry shopping bags. So one of them is plastic, obviously plastic isn't great for the environment but I have so many carrier bags floating around and I always think like a plastic bag is nice to have or like a um, waterproof bag, not, not necessarily waterproof but for example say something's leaking in your bag, like you've always got to be, always got to be prepared. Rule number one of the girl guides, always be prepared. So I carry a plastic bag around with me just in case something's like leaking or yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just because but then the one I use to actually do my shopping is this reusable foldable bag you can get these loads of different places and obviously in England now you have to pay 5p for a carrier bag so it saves you money and just have one in your bag because it is a really annoying feeling when you realize oh I don't have a bag with me so I'm gonna have to buy one and then I'm gonna have this plastic bag but plastic bags take up a lot of space and they're just they're just not necessary so bring one with you save 5p save the planet Whenever I say that, it feels like, do you remember Heroes, the TV series, when they're like, save the cheerleader, save the world. <laughs> save 5B, save the planet, save the cheerleader. Anyway, what else do I carry in here? I carry a knife and fork. Always nice to have handy. You can get reusable ones of these. You can buy them online, like um, wooden ones. You could just use a metal one, like um, from the cutlery drawer. I use these plastic ones and just wash them again and again because, I mean, no reason other than I had them handy and um, saves me making a purchase. Obviously when these are eventually good to snap or I'll eventually replace these with like a wooden version or a reusable version. Or you can get these tiny little forks that are kind of like a spoon, a fork and a knife all in one. They'd be really easy to carry around with you. Saves you having to use plastic cutlery wherever you're going or if you get food out or something. So that's always handy to have on hand. And then I also keep some kind of like other essential things but they're not necessarily green things in there as well. I feel like an overriding message for being green is just being a little bit more prepared, just thinking ahead a little bit, you know? If you're gonna get food out, bring a lunchbox with you and say, please, instead of putting it in like a paper container or a plastic container, can you put it in this lunchbox? And they might look at you weirdly, but who cares? You're never gonna see them again, you know? And you know, in your heart of hearts, you're contributing less to waste and becoming more of a green citizen. The last thing I wanted to mention is a little bit hypocritical because this is a moon cup and moon cup is a brand of menstrual cup. You can, get them loads of different places and from loads of different brands now. There's a Diva Cup, obviously Moon Cup, other brands as well that their names don't come to mind. This is basically a game changer for a lot of people. Now the reason why I feel like it's a little bit hypocritical, I'm gonna stop doing that. The reason why I think it's a bit hypocritical for me to recommend this is because I have not managed to get on board with it yet but I only gave it a go once so I feel like there are other ways to make it work. It didn't work for me first time round. Um, nothing disastrous, I just, it didn't work for me that one time. I think it is just one of those things that you have to just practice with and you get 
better at it, as with most things in life. But basically it's a reusable little cup that collects your menstrual blood. And yeah, you empty it out, rinse it in the sink, reuse it. And it saves you money because let's face it, tampons and pads are blimmin' expensive. And it also saves the planet because sanitary towels are not so great with your biodegrading. So yeah, this is a really good way to be more green and save yourself money. And I am gonna get back into this. I'm, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. You are going to serve me well because I spent 20 pounds on you and it's not going to waste. And it comes in two sizes, one if you've like had a baby and one if you haven't. And yeah, handy, handy little contraption. Comes in a nice little organic cotton bag. So it's nice and discreet, you can chuck it in your bag or chuck it in your little kit. So that's five or six little ways that I have incorporated more sustainable, less wasteful practices into my day-to-day -day life. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a good day and I will see you very soon.